kids who are just like you, except they have blood cancer. They talk about what it's like to get treatment. Some of the side effects of chemotherapy were losing your hair, no energy, and your immune system was a lot lower, so it was easier to get sick. Chemotherapy used to make me throw up every about 30 minutes. Chemo messes with my taste buds too. Don't, ever, don't ever eat your favorite food while on chemo. You'll never want to eat it again. I lost my hair three times, so it fell out and came back frequently. And I wore a ball cap a lot when I went out in public or really any kind of hat, and I had two wigs. I did not enjoy wearing the wigs because they were hot to wear and kind of stuffy and not really fun to put on. <laughs> Nowadays, when my friends compliment my hair, I don't disagree with them. I just say, I love it too. My hair falls out all over the place and get, makes a big mess when it comes out. Um, we used to use tape to um, pull my hair out until I suggested a lint roller. Two weeks after starting chemotherapy, my hair began to fall out. This was the part I was dreading the most. I decided to go wig shopping just because I wanted some kind of comfort. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society helped the survival rate for most childhood leukemias improve from 3% in 1964 to 90% today. Sometimes some of the medicines I receive, such as steroids, make, make me kind of have mood swings and make my personality different. The steroids made my face kind of rounder and more swollen. Kind of made me feel self-conscious. <laughs> my mom called me a chipmunk. I didn't I want to tell people that I had cancer because as being a teenager, we're really judgmental of each other. And I didn't want people to, you know, talk about me in a bad way or think I was weak. But kids with cancer need friends at this time in their lives more than ever. Kids who are fighting cancer are still kids, just like you. When kids are undergoing treatments, they still want to play and hang out. But things might be a little different. For a while, I'd use a wheelchair to get around school. Sometimes during school, I get so sleepy that I just couldn't even keep myself awake to even hear the bell ring for the next class. Because the chemotherapy made me tired, I left school early a lot. When I had cancer, it felt like it would never end, but I kept on fighting. Students like yourself can help the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society continue the research that saved the lives of kids just like you. Join us.